how I build my business using social media. That's it, guys. Social media. I got started with this business very part time. Um, I, you know, I drop off my wife to work and then I have 10 minutes in between to get to work. Right. And then every day I tell my story every day. I'll tell them who do I tell my story to, to the people in social media, because I need an audience. Right. So, you know, I, I'm going to share with you there. There is no one way to do this business. I'm just going to share with you the way I built this business using social media. So hopefully at the end of the presentation, I can share with you some value, okay? So um, Abraham Lincoln said it once before, of course, I uh, said, if I'm given six hours to chop down a tree, I will spend four hours to sharpen my saw. Okay, let me repeat that again. <clears throat> if I'm given six hours to, uh, to chop down a tree, I will spend four hours to sharpen the saw. A lot of times people get involved in this kind of business. They go out and get excited, tell people, you know, they lead with excitement and they don't know anything about the business. That's why they're having a hard time uh, influencing or, you know, attracting people about their business. So I highly recommend guys, let's sharpen the saw before we chop down the tree, okay? Makes sense. So today we're going to sharpen our saw. Our saw is our mind, right? Mindset before skill set. Okay. So there's four things that I teach to our group. You know, anyone I sponsor, I make sure I bring this message home. But you know what? You can teach anybody anything, right? But the only one that's going to do it is the ones that are going to do it. And then you spend time to those are ready to learn and practice. We don't have to help everybody, right? Don't work with the needy, work with the ready, right? You give the same opportunity to everybody, but work with the ready, okay? Are you ready? Let me see, are you ready? Let me see, who's ready? All right, let's go. I'm gonna go ahead, I don't, I'm only going to use three slides today, okay? Three slides and uh, we're gonna work around that three slides. Let me go find it real quick. Here we go. So this one I saw from uh, uh, Coach uh, Tim Miller and then I kind of, revised it a little bit, kind of apply, you know, our principles. And that's what we're going to show you today. All right, slide show from the top. Oop. So I tell people, before you start your business, there are four things I want to teach you. If you internalize these four things, then live good will be in you. And this, this, this principle works in any other businesses. Number one, <laughs> learn the business. Before you go out and try to recruit, try to promote, learn your business. A lot of times people try to skip the learning part because, oh, I already know that. I've already known network marketing. Oh, I was a top earner from another company. Oh, I've been doing network marketing for 20 years. They skip the learning part. Guys, if you're everybody that is new in Live Good goes to step one, learn the business. Then once you learn the business, what is learning the business, right? Uh, learn how to get into your back office. Learn how to retrieve your password just in case your future affiliates or business partners forget their password. Do you know how to help them? Learn how to, you know, the, the people, like especially the people in the Philippines, they, the first thing you want to know, if I make money, how do I cash out? How do I get my money out? Because they've had bad experience with other companies before where their money is stuck is stuck in the system. So are you can you answer that? So learn how to answer those type of questions. How do you rank up? How do we, how do I become bronze? How do you become silver? You know, what's the resources? What's the sources? You know, what's the YouTube? Uh, what's our YouTube uh, official channel? What's our Facebook official? Those are the things that you need to know before you go out and build your business so that you are equipped. It's just like you're a soldier going to the battle. You went to the boot camp first before you go figure out. So you don't go to the battle, figure out how the, the gun shoots, right? <laughs> the weapons, right? So that's step one. Step two is sharing the business. What is sharing the business? Sharing the business is marketing. Sharing the business is promoting. Sharing the business is prospecting, sharing the business is simply telling your story. 
So share, share, share. But it's hard to share what you don't know. It's hard to teach what you don't know. It's hard to give what you don't have, right? So step one, learn the business. Step two, share. If you share and you have fun sharing the business, that's what we're going to focus on, the number two, guys. So don't worry. It's not going to take three hours. <laughs> so it's not going to take three hours. It's only going to take uh, less, than an, uh, less than an hour, right? Less than an hour. So we're going to focus on the sharing part, but I want to take you to the flow first. So when you share and market your business, LiveGood is so good for people to ignore, right? LiveGood is so good for you not to share. If you share this in your social media, in your profile, it, you know, when you're have when when you're having a conversation with a friend, someone's gonna say, that's interesting. Who doesn't want to say money? Everybody wants to say money. But if we feel make people obligated, feel obligated that they should buy from you, buy from your website because your friends and family, people don't like to be obligated. So that's why I tell people, don't make your friends and family feel obligated that they should do business with you. Because I do believe if we market our business consistently and properly, you're going to attract people. Just like the brand that you find at, you know, in, in the store. You've probably seen several advertisements, but you didn't need it before. That's why you're not buying it. But the moment you need it, you went to go look for that brand. The same thing in social media, right? So when people go, so, coach, tell me more about it. Coach, I, I've been seeing you for doing this for three months. And then I saw the success. I saw you're having fun. I saw you're making money. Can you tell me more about it? So people are going to reach out to you in public or in private. And then when they reach out to you, how do you respond from the people interested about the business? You take them to the tour. That's what Tim Miller always teach us. Take them to the tour. Hey, Coach, uh, can you tell me more about the, uh, the product? Well, I'll take you to the tour. <laughs> Uh, uh, how's the compensation plan, coach? Uh, well, go. I'll send you the link. Watch the video. Put your name and take it to the tour. Cause guys, everything else that they need to know after watching that video is in the tour, right? So how does this marketing works? Oh, let me take you to the tour. <laughs> Have you taken the tour yet, right? So that the taking the tour for me is qualifying people, right? You don't want to recruit everybody that moves <laughs> we had this uh, three foot rules before right like everybody close to you you want to recruit but guys i changed my mindset when i learned to stop doing that my business becomes more fun because i don't want to be thinking trying to recruit somebody next to me when i just wanted to eat i just wanted to eat i don't want to be recruiting people but when i'm in front of the computer i know how to find the people i want in my business does that make sense or if i'm having a conversation with somebody that i really like right i can tell them more about a business but i'm not going to pretend to have a fake conversation to somebody so that i can introduce them to the business does that make sense guys i hope that makes sense now when they go to the tour and it show they show interest then i invite them to the zoom a lot of times people try to invite people to the zoom and nobody shows up how many times how many of you guys have invited people to attend the Zoom and nobody show up. I mean, you've been inviting weeks, right? Months, no one's showing up because they're not interested yet. It's just like you're watching. It's like you're inviting somebody to watch a movie. They don't know what they're going to watch. It's just like when you're inviting somebody to watch a Zoom, and most of the time our Zoom are about an hour, you're asking people to take an hour out of their busy schedule to watch their Zoom, right? Or some people are begging, oh, bro, just do me a favor. I just need one audience, <laughs> right? When you're begging, you lose your posture, right? But if you're consistent in your marketing, you show people you're having fun, then you get people's interest. When they take, their, they, when they take themselves to the tour and they show interest, you invite them to the Zoom, most likely they're going to go, bro, uh, can you give me more information on this? Oh, sure, man. Uh, are you available tonight? We got a Zoom coming up tonight. <laughs> oh, well, I'm not available tonight. How about tomorrow, <laughs> right? So know your schedule. That's why I tell. I that's why we taught you how to learn your business first. 
learn your business, learn your schedules, you know, learn the system. So we have a system. And actually, this is the system right here. Learn the business, share the business store. Invite. I'm going to keep repeating it because I want to hone it in your head. Because if you get these four principles, these are the four things you need to learn. If you try to learn other things, you're trying to learn too much. How would you know if you already learned this, if you can explain it to somebody else? That's how you know it. How would I know, coach, if I already learned it? Explain it to me. Can you explain it to me? If you can't, you don't know it yet. If you're not practicing it, you're not, you don't know it yet. So this is how it would support where Tim says, our business is simple. You just get to help those two get to and repeat. So guys, I want you to understand when, when, when we say help to get to, but you don't stay help to keep, get, help them get to, help them get to all the way down. No, you help to and help them get to, and then you go find two more. Because a lot of times, guys, when people get into the business, the first two people that you brought in may not be that person that will duplicate the business. That's why you want to keep finding that next two. I learned this from uh, uh, Curry Russell. He said, the, it's the rule of numbers. You know, Out of 10 people, maybe just one will duplicate your business. So if you want to have two superstar that will duplicate, you might have to sponsor 20. Does that make sense? Because a lot of times people thought when they sponsor two, magically those two will find two. And those two will find two. Those two will find two. That's not working the numbers. Working the numbers is you break, you, you, you talk to 10 people, one will say yes. You talk to 10 more people, one will say yes. You talk to 10 more people, two will say yes. Because you get better, right? Now, when you have more people direct, I mean, you start sponsoring more people. That out of those 10 people that you sponsor, maybe you'll have one superstar. And then you sponsor 10 more people, then you have another one superstar. Then you just made silver. So now you're not dependent on somebody becoming a bronze for you to become a silver. You build yourself to 20 fast as you can. Guys, I'm talking to somebody that is building their want to build their business to the next level here. This is not. A, a, a training where you just bring in your two and you you wait for other people to spill over to you guys. This is how you spill, how you build spillovers. Okay. Let me ask you this. Do you want to wait spillover or do you want to create spillover? Those who wants to wait for spillover only makes you 25 cents, every individual under you. But if you create spillover, you will make $25 every direct referrals and it doesn't stop there. You will make 50% on what they make on their matrix. So I rather create spillover. But how do you create spillover? You focus on two, help get two, and then you do that again. But don't stop on just your first two. Because you're not going to find the people, your uh, your business builder right away. I sponsored about 60 people. Okay, the, the number works just fine for me. I sponsored about 60 people. Out of those 60 people, I only have six groups that are really building. See, the number works, right? Out of 10, one person building. Out of 10, one team building, right? So so now, um, get to, help to, repeat to. Okay, now I, I just wanted to set the mindset, right? Set the mindset because what we're going to focus on is, guys, is how to share the business using social media. How I built my business uh, using just Facebook alone. I'm not good in I'm not good in <laughs> in um at Instagram. I use a little bit of TikTok, but basically TikTok's just to create videos and then I download what I create on TikTok and I repost it on my Facebook Reels. So, the first thing I wanted to share in terms of the step 2 in sharing the business work on your short story. I said three minutes, but <laughs> I broke my own rule. I My short video earned, ended up four minutes. So guys, um, I, I do have this posted on my profile, but the one I have posted on my profile is in Filipino. So somebody requested if I could make you know, a version in, in English. I said, okay, because guys, I have said this testimony over and over. I internalized, I memorized it. It becomes my brand. If you ask me to repeat it, I can repeat it in a heartbeat. So I want to share with you that short video so you have a pattern of what I'm talking about. 
Hi guys, this is Coach Sal Moan from Las Vegas, Nevada. I am uh, diamond rank with Libgood, and here is my story. So I was born in the Philippines. I was 14 years old when we moved to California. Currently, I live in Las Vegas now with my wife, three kids, and one grandson. So the kind of work I used to do before Libgood I was an Uber driver for many years. Um, I worked in a warehouse department. Um, I'm college dropout. Now I'm saying you can actually do live good. Before live good, maybe a lot of you can relate where you know where you don't have enough money at the end of the month, don't have enough money to pay for your bills. To the beginning of the month, you haven't made enough money at the end of the month to pay the bills at the beginning of the month uh, for house, for your house, for your uh, for your car payments, for your insurance. It's just not enough. And in order for me to make more money, I would have to have a second job. So I am glad that I was introduced to Live Good uh, January 6th of 2023. So it's been about a year now of my journey with Live Good. But when I started with Live Good Guys, we were absolutely broke. I didn't even have that $49.95 for me to join Live Good. What I mean is I did have money on my ATM, on my bank account, but it's still not even enough to pay for all my bills. But I took a risk to just get this business started, even if I end up paying, not paying one of my bills and pay for the late fees. So I'm glad I did, because when I saw Live Good, I knew this is something that I was looking for. A lot of the things that I don't like from other traditional marketing companies like overpriced Prada, um, you, know, um, you know, buying in expensive business packages, auto ship and uh, compensation plan, binary pairing, flash out, those things are no longer with this company. So I did this business very part-time around my business schedule. Every morning when I bring my daughter to school and drop off my wife, I would have 10 minutes gap to drive in between to my work. And that's where I share my story through social media. I kept telling my story in the beginning. Not a lot of people are paying attention. Even my closest friends were not responding to me, but I kept on going. So I'm glad I didn't stop. Next thing you know, I have friends that start believing in me. It takes one or two people to believe in you and your confidence starts to overflow. So eight months after I reached the rank of diamond. Now we can go for mini vacation with my family and we can afford it without having to worry about, you know, not enough money to spend for our bills because we spend it on a mini vacation. So guys, Live Good is a very simple business, but you just have to follow this. Learn the business, share the business, invite people to the tour, and then when they're interested some more for more information, invite them to our Zoom presentation. If you keep doing that, you will also see what other people in Live Good have experienced. I always like to say, Live Good is the business for the people, hope for our family. We hope to see you at the top. There you go. So, guys, that's the um, that's the for have I I meant to go to go three minutes, but but guys, it's okay. But just don't go too long because the purpose is this so that we can share it. You can send it to others on on Facebook because if you have like seven minute, 10 minute long, then it's going to be hard to share it. It's not going to be shareable. Now, the next purpose of, of doing that is I, um, here, let me see. I'm going to go to my um, Facebook um, because what I did is I pinned that video. I mean, I post that video on, uh, well, I have the one in Tagalog because my target audience, uh, like uh, Filipino speaking, um, I posted that and then I pinned it onto the top because my intention is to connect with other people that are already in network marketing and they're struggling. So those, my target audience are struggling network marketers, right? Um, 
and that before I before I started marketing, uh, my my story because why why my story because I this is what I learned in the past story sells facts tells you can tell how good live good is but you know what at the end of the day people will join the person they know they like and they trust right how would they know you if they don't see you so that we have to do marketing how would they like you if they don't see you enough how would they trust you if you're not if they're not hearing from you so all that applies into what we're going to talk about today so the first thing i recommend before you go out before you go out and start promoting yourself on social media well consider yourself to go public because if you're uh, if your account is private and you only have 100 friends, <laughs> I don't know. You're gonna be too. I don't think you're gonna be too. You, I, I don't think you're gonna be uh, be uh, uh, be so successful in your business because we are in the marketing business, guys. So I mean, we have to have a lot of people see our message over and over and over and over and over again, right? So I work, you know, uh, on my uh, Facebook cover. So when people see me, so my intention is to grow my followers, right? So in order for me to grow my followers, then I need to drive traffic to my Facebook. So the first thing they're going to see is my Facebook cover. So I like to tell people, my Facebook cover is like my business card. Guys, I build this business, my live good business, without having a paper business card. Now, when I go to the event, I look, oh, are you connected on social media? Because, you know, business cards, people will keep it and they throw it away. But if I connect with you on social media, you keep seeing me. <laughs> until until you're it's either you get sick of seeing me or you join my business right so secondly guys i highly recommend you work on your profile picture uh tim uh teach this all the time you know if you love dogs your dog doesn't have to be here yeah but people are going to be doing business with you not your dogs right or your cats or your kids right yes we love them but when we're doing business they're not going to be talking to our kids, right? They're going to be talking to us. So we have to build rapport. Remember, guys, in our business, first impression is important. So you're building impression here. So I highly recommend, guys, work on your Facebook cover because it will already set you apart. You know, if you want to target other marketers or, I don't know, other business people, they want to know if they're going to be doing business or they're going to gauge you first. You know, they say, you know, don't judge the book by its cover. But man, people do. So better work on your cover. <laughs> right. So so that's the first thing they see. And then the next thing they'll see is my story. Right. So right. When someone's trying to friend you, what do you do first? You check their profile. Right. You don't just accept them. Right. So the next thing you see is like, OK, what kind of activity do I do? So for me, I do a lot of Zooms. I show people that I'm involved. I'm active. Right. And then I, 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 sh I share some type of uh, results post. Last night, uh, one of our uh, uh, business partners from Hong Kong. Right. She works as a domestic helper. Right. Earlier, I woke up four o'clock in the morning to, uh, you know, to help and teach the team. And we recognize her. You know what's her background is the kitchen, the kitchen where she's worked. And then she show her hands with plasters and stuff. So these are the kind of content that you would want to share. Right. And then, of course, you kind of mix it up. Oh, OK, another I think you can have an example. You know, I encourage my team if, if you know, if they can get out of their comfort zone to do lives. Right. And then I support them by when they do their lives, I support them. And this lady, how she found me was from Facebook. I was washing the dishes, right? And, hey, and then I did my live. I put, okay, hey guys, gotta do the dishes. Uh, my wife might fight me because if I, you know, I'm 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 working home full time now. At least I gotta wash the dishes. You know, I put a little bit of joke of that. And then. I was washing my dishes. She saw my story. And then I go like this. By the way, guys, uh, if you're looking for, you know, to, to earn an additional income without having a second job, hey, just let me know. You know, if you don't like your uh, inventory, you know, I, you, you don't like the auto ship. I know the pain points. I know how to tell my pain points on my social media. And then she reached out to me. She said, coach, you, what, business, no, no inventory. Could, I'm interested. So I said, okay, I'll connect with you on private message. So I finished my lives. I finished washing the dishes because I might my wife get, get mad at me, right? <laughs> okay. So and um and then she's one of the fastest growing team. And then she also encouraged her team to do their lives. 
right? Okay, so so these are the kind of contents. But of course, oh, I like to do um, every Thursday. I do uh, like a, I don't know my um, my happy dance, payday dance. <laughs> so I don't know how to dance. I just move a little bit. <laughs> so you know, I just put fun into the business. You know, put a little fun in the business. Okay, and then this one I saw from Tim Miller, and I just saved a ton of money switching to live good. I like that one, right? And then, of course, I, this is, look, this is another lady, super shy, and she's coming out doing lives, right? See, guys, it's okay to be fearful, but do it anyway, right? It's okay to be fearful, but do it anyway, right? And then, um, you know, I like to post other stuff. Okay, another shy mom, right? Um, uh, <laughs> I put humor here. <laughs> what they say, you know, oh, it's a scam, you know, and then finally you're making money to go like, the, oh, that's just in the beginning. And then finally you're making a lot of money. Oh, man, you're so conceited. Whatever you say, they're going to say something. So leave them alone. <laughs> All right. So, and then, you know, recognition, you know, post. Um, but I've done a lot of live good. But I tell people in the beginning, you kind of mix it up a little bit. I like to put lifestyle posts because people will respond to what you're doing. You know, like you go to the beach, you go to, they like that. And when you say happy birthday, you're going to get a ton of comment. And those means a lot because when people are commenting to you what you post, the next time you throw in another post, your post gets to their news feeds faster. Okay. That's called the algorithm. So, you know, I like to share, you know, on a Sunday, of course, um, you know, the share, share the word, um, you know, I just, at this, we, over the weekend, we went to the snow retreat with the church. I share a little bit of my life, not everything, you know, but, you know, I share, I share, I just keep sharing. Right. So what happened is after eight months of doing all this, some people believe me, some people don't, but you know what? I reached the rank diamond because I told my story. I didn't stop telling my story. You know what they say? Consistency will beat resistance. People will resist. People will resist in the beginning. So okay. So what did we learn here, guys? Um, my goal for us is to learn how to increase your followers. Why do we want to increase our followers? Right? Followers are your audience. The more followers you will have, the more audience will see what you share. That's why this goes hand in hand. Be consistent and build your audience, right? Because you can have a lot of audience, but you're not promoting your live good. No one's still going to join your business or vice versa. You keep promoting your live good, but you don't have any audience. Then, you know, it, there's no, um, you, you won't have any much business as well, right? So let me just, uh, okay. So I want to show you right now, I have about 8,000 500 followers. I started with like 5,000, right? Every day, my goal is to add new followers. Who do I want as a follower? I want people that are already knows how to do network marketing or people that are online savvy, right? I don't focus too much on converting employee minded to business entrepreneurs. You know, I thank the other networkers to do that. <laughs> so I just want to help those people that are struggling with their network marketing business and then give them an opportunity to see about live good. Now, uh, coach, how do you approach them? I don't, I don't, honestly, I don't, right? So what I do is I grab their attention. If, here's what I learned in social media. In order for you to get attention, you give attention to them first. So who do you give attention to? You give attention to your target audience. So what I do, I would go to search and then who are the people that you want to work with? Do you want to work with people that are in, oh, how can I, okay, okay. So who do, who are the people you want to work with? Oh, I can't, okay. Anyway, you go to the search search graph and then you will find, or you, you use the hashtag, like hashtag Herbalife. You want to find Herbalife uh, Builder? So if you use hashtag, I can't. Okay, let me stop here real quick, guys. Okay, so if you use hashtag, oh, okay. <laughs> Wait, hold, on. hold on, guys. Hold on. Okay, I'm talking to myself here. Right? 
Live in Facebook. Okay, turn it off. Right. All right, here we go. So, hold on, guys. Um, I lost. Okay, so if you use hashtag search, like hashtag Herbalife distributors, so so maybe the Herbalife distributors that you want to target. So you go to their page, go look for active page, and then follow those people that are actively engaging, right? So not necessarily that you have to have a fake conversation, because guys, that's fake conversation. I mean, what I'm saying is this, guys, I can't, I don't really have time to talk to 50 people in one day and have a real conversation with them. What I'm trying to do is just to connect with them first. And then when they connect, when I follow them, I make comments and I make engagement with them, you know, engage, you know, with the hearts and stuff. Now, some of them may follow me, some of them, some of, some of them may not, but that's okay. It didn't cost me anything anyway, right? <laughs> so that's what I do every day. You know, I put some effort to building my followers. And then Tim Miller teaches, like, you know, um, he finds a group and then he he tells, you know, hey, um, if I follow you, would you follow me? You know, like follow, but you're following to following people that are targeted audience to you. Now, that's why I highly recommend that be consistent in your posting because you if you outperform them in marketing your business, you're going to show more than what they have to show to you. See, at the end of the day, it's either you say yes to them or they say yes to you. But you're not going to do it arrogantly where you have to say, my business, my live good business is better than yours. No, you show them how you do the business and people are attracting will be attracted on how you build a business. Does that make sense, guys? I hope it makes sense. So that's your goal. Build your followers. Your followers becomes your audience. If you're consistent in what you post, your audience will become your subscribers. When the subscription makes sense, the business will make sense. Guys, see, the people experience the process, then you don't have to, people that will not be confused. Would I lead with the product? Would I lead with the business? No, you just go through that process. You're going to find, because the smart people, if they can see how they can gather a lot of subscribers, they already know they can do the business, right? So gain goal is to gain followers, gain audience, influence, become subscribers. Okay, target your audience. We already talked about that. Did you know that you have the higher chance to win the lottery than to win with friends and family in network marketing? Right? Why is it that we try so hard to convince friends and family, right? Guys, here's what I teach. That's why I enjoyed this business so bad. Treat your friends like friends and family. Treat your friends and family like friends and family. Don't make them feel obligated that they should buy or join your business because they're friends and family with you. Because it's unfair. I don't want to be buying from friends and family if I, if I don't need their product. If I don't find the need, I can't, I mean, if I if I like it, then I should buy from them first before other brands. But if I don't find the need because they're not marketing it, why should I buy from them? Right? So if we're consistent in marketing the, you know, the, the solution to the people, then they can't help but to ask for help, right? Now, when's the last time you've been to uh, McDonald's? Or Jollibee or something, or like Jollibee, or McDonald's. <laughs> when 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 you go to the when you go to the uh, to to McDonald's to the restaurant, they don't go, uh, "Hey sir, uh, would you like some business with that?" No, they say, "You want you'd like some fries with that." Majority of the people are bus uh, you know, are customers, are consumers. We are consumer based type of business, so we don't force, we don't like convince people to do the business. Business people will see the value of the business if they see you're doing it right, right? So we don't, you know, what? just be consistent that offering to the people, if you have the right audience, that, you know, we have the solution for the business entrepreneurs. You know, no more overpriced products, you know, all that kind of stuff, right? So with friends and family, guys, I'll be honest with you, I made Diamond without friends and family building, I mean, uh, join my business. No, 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 I have friends, but uh, relatives build my business. Now they're slowly catching up. Does that make sense, guys? Because I love them for they are. You know, I, I treated them as friends and family, just like how I would show up on my Facebook, even if I don't have any business, 
right? I don't feel hurt if they don't respond to my ad because I already expected that. So expect the expectation. So what I can measure is the activity of my advertisement. So, so it is like building a team of sports. If you want to have a team of basketball or, 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 or baseball, who do you want in your team? People that are good in football, uh, a very good cons uh, construction worker. Do you want to con convince your friends and family to learn how to play baseball so you can have a baseball team to go to the World Series? No. The fastest way to build this team is find people that already know how to play baseball. A lot of people right there right now are hurting. They're not making enough money. They're still looking, even if they're already in the business, because that's what happened to me. I just got started with a different business opportunity. I was setting up my web page and all that. And then when I saw Live Good, I saw Live Good. Live Good is what I was looking for. Because even if I was already in another marketing company, it, I wasn't, it, it wasn't 100%. I was just doing it because I want to stay in the circulation. But when I saw Live Good, Live Good was it. So guys, there's a lot of people just like you and me that even if they're already in another business, they just need to see Live Good. Our job is not to convince them. Our job is to bring the message to them. Right? So social media is one of the most powerful way to keep telling your story. When you tell your story and no one's engaging, it doesn't mean no one's watching. Okay? Because you don't know. There are people that are watching. But next thing you know, they're just going to send you a message. Sal, tell me more about it. <laughs> okay. So who do you want in your team? Do you want, uh, I mentioned, uh, do you want the people that already play? Because if, if so in, in, in relation with network marketing, if you find other people that already knows how to build network marketing, sometimes they're tougher because, you know, they protect their ego. <laughs> Especially if they're top earners with another company. So guys, if somebody is already married with another company, don't break that marriage. Right? You're just looking for someone who broke up with their marriage <laughs> or with the relationship. Right? So all you need to do is tell your story. Our job is not to convince because we have sis we have presentations that when they when they hear uh Nader Kazan, when they hear uh Ben, it's almost game over when you take him to the process. What's the process? Learn the business, share the business. Take them to the tour. If they're still interested, take them to the Zoom. Watch. If you get people to attend the Zoom, most likely they're ready to join. Mm -hmm. So in summary, it's this. With those four, attend the Zoom so you can learn the business. Keep attending the Zoom to learn the business. And then when you learn the business, then you have to invite to the Zoom. You can't be just learning but not inviting. We are in invitation. We are in the inviting business. So if somebody tells me, Coach, what if I don't invite uh, anybody, then I don't think you should do this business, right? If you don't have the intention to invite people to the business, or if you don't have the intention to do marketing and you're joining a marketing business, I think it's a conflict of interest. <laughs> so I have a very slow, uh, on, on my direct, uh, people, uh, I sponsor 67. I still have about 55. 50, so I have a pretty high ratio of people staying and keeping the membership because I made sure when they join the business, they're looking for a business. They didn't just join because they can't say no to me, right? So find other networkers. I've, I've already, uh, we already discussed, you search the search graph and then pay attention to them by simply, you know, having an engagement. Cause they say this, um, traffic is king. So what your job is bringing traffic to your profile, right? Traffic is king but engagement is queen so you can bring traffic as you mu as much you want but if you're not engaging to people then it's not going to build a uh, conversation and conversation can lead to likability likability leads to potential buying right um offer solution and keep promoting the solution they will hear you um you know, we already know the solution, right? We already know the problem in network marketing. 
you you keep telling that you keep telling what we offer as a solution i like to use the praise when i'm talking to another network marketer when they're about to give me a uh, objection i said hey bro listen man i don't know if this is for you but everything i don't like in network marketing is no longer here are you open to see the information are you open to watch the 5 minute information see i give them the reason i give them to say i give them the reason to say no right so that i don't feel bad when they say no right so networkers networkers you work with other okay so i make my list so guys let me share with you how i make my list all right so i'm going to go to my okay I never run out of people to talk to. I go to my Facebook, okay? I go to my main profile. Okay, there you go. And then you scroll down and you see where it says all friends, see all friends. <laughs> That's it, guys. Here we go. Okay, you want to talk to people uh, in your uh, current city? All right, you go click that. All right, then you start making lists. Start making lists. You never run out of people. Right? How do you start a conversation? Hey, bro, listen. And then you go check your profile. Check their profile first. Jasmine Brown. I haven't seen Jasmine Brown for a while. I just say hello. Hey, Jas. That's it, guys. That's it. You just start. You just start poking. And then when they respond, it's continue. You check out. Man, dude looks good, dude. All right. So are you seeing what I just did there? It's Is that hard? It's not hard, guys. It's not hard. It's only hard in your head. But once you start practicing it, you have fun, you have conversation, engage. Yeah, uh, uh, Jeannie, Jeannie said engage. Engage it, engagement is queen. When you get them to the engagement, I like to use this. I, I, I don't get into pitching them right away, right? Hello, hi, but don't take too long because people take too long finding that right opportunity. Guys, you're not inviting people to church here. <laughs> you're, you're just inviting them to watch a five-minute video, all right? And uh, there's three words that I use, by the way, Colombo, Colombo close. <laughs> How many of you guys watch Colombo here, right? He goes like, is he going to go out in the, uh, he's going to go out the door and then he goes like, oh, by the way. <laughs> Dude, it's, it works. It works very good, guys. It's a powerful transition praise. And oh my gosh, it's so cool. It's cold over there. Oh my gosh, you know. And then you go like this. Oh, by the way, sis, you know, the reason I'm connecting with you, I found something really good. You know, have you heard of Live Good yet? Oh, no, I haven't. Oh my gosh, still good not to share. Hey, I'm gonna send you a five minute video. Watch it. Let me know what you think. Tell me, guys, if that sounds pushy doesn't right it's like a real and then i go through that go through that go through the numbers uh, coach um um uh, a lot of people say no to me you know like uh, they're objecting me right and you go like this uh well uh, how many 10 10 people you want to quit we only have that for breakfast 10 people for breakfast appetizer <laughs> but guys because if you keep doing it you're gonna have fun then now you don't focus on the result. You just focus on the numbers, how many you do it. Jim Rohn says it best. Work with numbers what you lack in skills. In the beginning, it might be awkward, right? If you do 10, one say yes. Oh, yeah, I'm going to take a look. Now you know you have to talk to 10 more people. Then you'll get one more yes. Then if you do 10 more, then you get better. Now you get two yes, right? Just work with the numbers. So don't get emotionally attached to the response of the people. Okay. But guys, uh, if you, oh, okay, uh, these, are, these, these are other places where you can connect with like-minded people. Because you want to connect with your, you know, with like-minded people. Go to Facebook page, other network marketing company, or go to Jim Rohn's page, Tony Robbins page. Find, you know, those, uh, those, those, uh, those posts that has a lot of engagement right and then kind of like for me i like to profile people i rather have few people that i connect with that are quality rather than just follow 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 okay um facebook groups uh teach uh tim miller um teaches it sponsors ads sponsored ads have you have you guys you know you see sponsored ads <laughs> 
the reason why it's in your profile because your targeted audience by the advertiser. So meaning the people that are responding to those ads might probably think the same like you. Have you noticed that? If you start looking for, I don't know, like uh, pink shoes, <laughs> pink shoes, you mentioned pink shoes and the next thing you know, the algorithm will pick it up then you start seeing people selling pink shoes. Yeah, we'll get you some over now, if you want to sell pink shoes to other people, you know, you want to find and connect those people that are responding. So how about essential oil? <laughs> you mentioned essential oil on your feeds, then you start getting advertisement of people with sponsored ads. And those people that sp spends money on sponsored ads, those are high quality people because they're spending money to build their business actively. Does that make sense, guys? All right. So almost, I'm almost done. <laughs> uh, warning, but guys, I have to warn you. Okay, warn, expect them that they will try to recruit you, right? That's why you have to go to the first step. Learn your business. Surround yourself with with uh, strong, positively mind people about live good. Don't listen to those that has bad sayings about live good. Focus on those that has good experience with live good, right? Because someone's going to try to recruit you into their business. But you're strong enough mentally. You're going to outperform them. You're not going to have a battle with conversation. You're just going to outwork them, and they're going to see what you're doing, okay? Um. So they say amateur sales, uh, amateur sell and convince people, but professional, they sift and sort. So our job is to sift and sort people responding to our advertisement. Um, spend 80% spend of your time. You know, if you're doing this business part-time, two to four hours a day, you should spend 80% of that two to four hours a day marketing your business. A lot of times people get caught up managing the three downlines that they have. Come on, let's go, guys. Let go. Let's go. <laughs> you have three people. Let's go. No, guys, focus on marketing your business. Okay? Don't get focused on mar <laughs> managing your downlines, right? Yeah, we have. You, you help the downlines, but you don't manage them because we're all independent this, uh, business entrepreneurs here. So, you know, what's the 20%? Maybe learning the business, attending the trainings right and then 10 percent helping your 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 uh your downline so increase your followers okay so i'm going to repeat guys increase your followers it will increase your audience okay advertise daily to your audience your your it will increase your subscribers because your visibility will increase your credibility when you're trying to recruit friends and family, especially you're new in the business, they, you don't have the credibility yet to them about the business. Yes, you have the credibility as a friend and a family, but not the business. So you want to show them that you are doing this business right so that when they keep seeing you, what you're doing, you share them about how you're enjoying your product and stuff like that. When you reach out to them, they've seen you enough already. Right? And... And when people ignore or maybe they didn't respond to you, it doesn't mean they're, they're not going to look into your profile. So everything that I teach you goes hand in hand. So prepare first before you go to the battle, right? Prepare your environment. Prepare your winning environment. And you go out and market like crazy. Because 80% of what we do on the marketing follows the third which is invite them to the Zoom and then invite them to the Zoom. I mean, invite them to the tour and then invite them to the Zoom. With that, guys, I hope I'm able to share some value to everybody. Um, my intention is to give you the flow because when the mind is confused, they refuse to take action. But if you give the people the expectation of the flow of what they're going to learn, and then you just practice it in cycle, it's easier to do. Um, and I think um, Tony Robbins said it best, um, repetition is the mother of skills, right? Repetition, anything we can learn, guys. 
So don't let your uh, lack of knowledge in social media um, stop you. No, I didn't know how to use TikTok. I didn't even know how to dance. I can just do this. That's it. That's the best I can do, right? <laughs> and then like this, point, point, point. But you can do TikTok. Because you guys, you don't have to dance when you promote on TikTok. You just, you know, just message. It's all audience. All right. Back to you, Coach Des. 